in this video I will share with you the mix ratio information or formula to mix concrete with sand stone and cement and water which is very important for your building Before we get started, do remember to subscribe. Highly appreciate it. Encourage me to do more videos like this. So I will share with you the mix ratio. How to calculate cement, sand and aggregate which is stone or gravel quantity in your concrete is very important so first this coding is like for the Caribbean because we are using like um, Caribbean cement and most of the product we use using the Caribbean so a bag of cement is 42.5 kgs don't worry about what the amount of cement in the bag? A bag of cement. Just need to remember a bag of cement. So for the, um, first, I can explain. The decking mixture is a bit stronger than the foundation. Not that that don't mean the foundation is weak, but because the decking will be associated with water and it um have a wide span without any support so it's intended to be stronger have to be stronger and things for earthquake and everything so when you're doing the mixing ratio for the decking we'll be using one bag of cement to a barrel of sand to a barrel of gravel for people who are more understandable in terms of um, feet square feet uh, square square you get about square and building which is like a 10 by 10 pieces of square one square so that would require 10 bags of cement 10 bar of sand 10 bar of gravel however i'm gonna give you a tip when you're doing a decking it's always best if you use the black stone and the the black sun based upon experience with my building and other building the black material intend to stronger and last longer over a period of time so your decking you want to use the strongest material which is the black stone and the black sun just a little tip a reminder there for the foundation I'm uh, in the black pocket are uh, doing paving the floor the mix ratio for this one is two bags of cement two three bar of sand two four bar of gravels so it's a two three four mix ratio or uh, formula whatever you call it If this video is interesting or educational, please leave a like, subscribe, press the notification bell to see more videos like this. So that's for the foundation and you can use that same ratio for the black pocket, filling the black pocket and doing the paving for the floor. However, sometimes it requires more cement based on the type of material you get. So the workman, if you have some experience, if you know so well, all right, yeah, we're using that formula, but it could be take some more. So the program, I behave like your program when you do this work. You know, the workman have some experience and can know that the material is not rich enough. So you can add additional 
cement because sometimes the sun is kind of different and the gravel is kind of different may require more cement but basic mixed racial formula remember I repeat for the decking it's one bag of cement one bar of sun one bar of gravel so that's a one one mixed ratio uh, formula and then for the foundation it's two bags of cement versus three bar of sun versus four gravel and as i say it's optional sometimes based on the type of material and where you come from it require more cement so that's all uh, depends on the skill of the workman you can say hey it's not looking that rich you know it's not strong enough for more cement just put cement so you can always use the white stone uh, gravel the white gravel to fill your black pocket and do your foundation if you can act if you can afford it use all black black sand black, black gravel for a stronger building purpose so that's the tips and tricks i have about mixing concrete this is very important for your building sometimes some people do a slab top or a decking the concrete decking and over a period of time you see it start to fall apart it's very important who you buy your material from in terms of sand a gravel a stone what we call it or aggregate same theory so it is very important to get right material and this by doing this you have to buy your material from reliable source depend and you have to depend on people who are true and reliable send you good material because you may buy material and do your building and within a short period of time you start to have problem you don't want to spend your money for all of that so these things are very important don't leave all of this up to the workman the workman is just working for the money and move along you will be the one who have your building for hairs so ensure you get good material if you don't know what to get get somebody who knows it's very important please spending all this money to put your building together and within a couple of years here yeah, problem even less than that don't make any sense so know your calculation and your mixed ratio about your material don't leave everything up to the contractor and the workmen they need to know something as well as i say you will be the one with the building for years and the problem cannot and be undone tear the building down and do it back again now so thus Pay attention to what you're doing. Get some idea upon your mix ratio. As I say, for the decking, just remember it's easy as this. For the slab top of the decking, because you'll be having water. It's it's a roof. So you don't want it to leak. Many people have um, decking and it's leaking. So it's one, one, one. The mix ratio is one cement, one bag of cement, one bar of gravel, one bar of sand. And for the foundation, the black pockets, full of the black pockets, and the decking of the, the, the paving of the floor, it's two, three, four. What is wrong? Nothing is wrong. Thank you all for watching. Until then, see you guys in my next video. Peace.